such iconic hockey history here. Always feels like a big event on game day, and tonight is no different. Two teams looking star for a win, and we are set to go. The Capitals start things off on the right note by winning the opening draw. Throws it in. The Leafs have it now. Looks to make a play over to Brody. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. With possession along the wall. Moves it to Ovechkin. Denied by the goaltender. Off his stick. And that goes off a player in front. Gains the zone. Here's a short pass. And that goes off the post and out. A huge opportunity there, James, to get the go-ahead goal in this game. You know what that does? It creates a ton of momentum, but the fight stops it. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Jones. The Capitals have it against the wall. The Leafs gain possession in their own end. Receives the pass. Moves it quickly over to Bertuzzi. Carlson stick handling in his own zone. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. The Capitals carry it along the wall. Quick feed to Tavares. Fires it. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to sweat it away. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. Washington's got control of it now from their own end. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Gets the puck in deep. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Grabbed along the board by Nylander. The Leafs have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Tavares has the puck against the half wall. Gives him a whack and the officials are gonna call this one. Here comes the call from the official. Well, he's frustrated with this call and he's gonna argue it with the official, but guess what? It's gonna be a call, it's not getting changed. Washington set in their power play unit out for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity of the game and to set the tempo, the trend on the specialty team unit. Grabs the puck here in their own end. Quick pass to Yarncroft. The Leafs played along the wing. Tees him up, makes the save. And will get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Gregor is gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? And the power play unit comes up empty on that one. Just gets enough to keep it out. Well, there's players on the bench that would kill for that opportunity. Just no urgency whatsoever from that power play unit and didn't generate any momentum. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Here in the late going of the frame, we've still got zeros on the board. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Toronto's in on the offensive attack now. Angles it over to Valenston. Nice feed from the right wing. Jensen's got the puck. A chance in front! Tremendous stop by Jones. A timely save is everything to your team, and this goaltender, he bails his team out. Ovechkin's got that 1T zone ability, which is his powerful one-timer shot. Matthews has that shock and awe zone ability, which is when he dekes out the opposition, then ends the play with a quick shot into the cage. Those are two players I know I'm going to be keeping an eye on tonight. Let's see if one of them can give their team the upper hand. Guys, back to you. And that caroms off a body in traffic. Tries to get the puck to Marner. Shoot the puck. <laughs> 
Well, fun start to this one as period number one comes to an end. We've still got lots more still in store. Kids are coming out on the ice here to play the little mini prospects game. And we'll be back with more in a moment. Now's your chance to play clean. Drop your plastic cups, bottles, and clean paper products in the recycling bins throughout the arena. Thank you, fans, for joining us in the campaign to save energy and keep our city clean. And the official seems about ready to drop the puck on period number two. Both teams still feeling each other out as we are scoreless here to start the second. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? Toronto's in a scoreless game here, and it's hard to believe considering the amount of possession time that they've had. Coaching staff would have told them in the second period they just need to continue what they're doing, except they have to find ways to drive the paint a little more and create a little more chaos in front of the goaltender. Wilson's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Here's a pass down low. And it's a quick pass to Ferrari. Oh, and he gets a piece of that one to keep it out. I love the way that he battles and competes for this puck, James. I mean, he loses it for a second, then he finds it, and he makes a save. Puts it on net. Scooped up along the wall by Carlson. They go on the attack through center. Washington's going to play it from the corner. And he gets a chunk of that to keep it out. Washington's got a hold of the puck. Moves it to Carlson. Looking for space inside the D zone. Ovechkin's crossed the line and gained the zone. And that's knocked away. Up along the wing. Change is coming up front as they send the puck in. Drives to the sweet spot. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Still no score in this one. Zooms here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And the long range shot goes off target. The Capitals move to the offensive zone. Washington's got the puck in the corner. The Capitals get a hold of the puck along the boards. Quick feed to Jensen. And that's broken up. Toss up the puck after that hit. Works it across to Domi. And he takes the pass. Benoit's got it in the offensive zone. Handles the pass. Big time stop. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Yarncroc's going off for slashing. Capitals once again send out their power play unit. Well, they haven't scored on the power play yet, man. It is a tough thing to do, and this is an earned opportunity. They practice, they know what they're doing. It'll come. Washington's gonna play the puck from behind the cage. And he keeps possession. Here's a clearing attempt. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Bears got it in the defensive end. The Capitals squander a golden opportunity to take the lead here. You can have all the ozone possession time on the power play in the world and you don't convert. Why? Because that's where you have it, on the outside. You have to find ways to create seams, diagonal lines to the net. 
be able to shoot off the pass and get scoring opportunities. In the final moments of this period, we're still scoreless. The Capitals win that offensive zone faceoff. Toronto's got the puck. Pushes it across to Matthews. Here's a short pass to Marner. The Leafs take it from the side. Stones up with the blocker. Well, that shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He had to be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Here we go. Pucks in deep. Scrum ensues along the boards. Can hang on to the puck after taking a knock. The Capitals gain possession. Oh, what a little stick lift on the play and comes up with the puck. Here's a blast! Oh, at the buzzer, a big save! Well, there you go, 40 minutes in the books. All right, friends, go grab yourself some water, get hydrated, and then buckle up because we got an exciting third period coming up in moments. Welcome back to EA Sports, the final frame of this one. And we are underway here in the third in what has been a defensive clinic at both ends of the ice. Great heads up play with the stick by Brody. Toronto's got control of the puck. Moving into the attacking zone. Rips it on net. Great save by Kemper. It's always a challenge to make a save when there's tons of traffic in front of you, but he does a great job of tracking, staying dialed in, and makes the save. Sends a pass over. Here's a chance. Great reach with the poke check. it looks James you have to have timing and an awareness to be able to get your stick on that rebound and then bury it not a lot of time and space available but he executes perfectly Toronto's on their way to victory if they can hold down this lead through the rest of the third well, it's all about game management but they can't just sit back and hold on otherwise their opponent they will look to attack and they will take advantage put them back on their heels be in the offensive zone where they can't get an opportunity to attack you Keeps a hold of it on the play. Made that stop. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. The Leafs lead it 1-0. Tavares takes possession right off the draw. The Capitals will play the puck from behind the net. Score! And better late than never, right? Yeah, James, sometimes it feels like you're never going to put one in. It could be the ocean and you'd miss it, but they get one late in the game. And hey, sometimes when the floodgates open, many come. Well, this is patience personified right there, James. The shooter knows that they need to wait for the lane to open up, but they also have the presence of mind to wait for the screen. You know, if the goalie can't see it, you got a better chance of putting it in. Washington's not messing around. Look at that effort in the offensive zone, and as a result, we're tied up. Well, that's been their playground today, but they just haven't been able to convert until now where they get the equalizer. You can see the opportunities that they've had, and finally, they take advantage. On the attack along the boards. Washington's got it in their own zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Washington's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And he rings the post! Toronto's players getting a little frustrated. They need a little puck puck as well as they just railed a number of them off the post. Out of midair, he swats it down to the ice. Now a quick pass to Nylander. Gaining momentum up along the side. Washington's got possession of the puck. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Benoit's taking it from his own end. Taken along the wall by Pacioretty. Handles the puck. 
People and fans complain that low-scoring games are boring, but not this one. There's been a lot of high-quality chances on both sides. It's been a very entertaining game. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Puck sent over to Yarncroft. He says, let's get physical on that play. The Capitals scoop it up along the boards. Takes the feed. Loses his balance on the play. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Let's send it back down to ringside with Carlin Bay. Ovechkin's got my vote here, guys, and this was a close decision for me. The players were tied in points, so for me, it was hard to choose, but I thought he worked hard, and he's really impressed me. Slides it over with pace to Brody. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Mantha. He got on that one. Washington's got a hold of it against the wall. McMichael's lugging the puck. Moves it quickly over to Manta. And that's intercepted by Martin. And a smart heads up play to poke that away by Jensen. Quick pass over to McMichael. Shot! And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Jones has been great tonight, James, and you can't ask more of your tender than that. I mean, he's been under siege in terms of the shots. He's making key saves and timely ones at that. Now it's his team to back him up and find a way to get going north. Kemper's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. This is a faceoff. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Look at that, there's the horn, and we are still evened up. That means we got a little bonus time. OT action is just around the corner. OT should tell us who wins and who loses, and they're ready to get it underway. Underway. Oh, that save. Tremendous agility there by Kemper. From behind the net. Washington's grabbed a hold of the puck. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. Here's a centering pass. And he denies that great opportunity there. Jones steals one with that incredible save, James. And his team knows it. You can see him buff out his chest. He's playing with a little bit of swagger now. And everyone in front of them knows that they got to energize. they got to elevate their game. The ref isn't putting the whistle away in overtime. Who's going to be the hero and get the golden goal on the power play? A long four-on-three man advantage looms here as we get set to drop the puck. What a time in this game to have a power play opportunity in overtime. The coaching staff has to settle their team down, make sure they're ready to go here so they can execute and capitalize. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. Nylander's got it into offensive territory. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Side still short-handed here as they slide into the face-off. Tommy's got the puck and they'll go on the attack. The Capitals have possession short-handed. The Leafs gain possession along the wall. It's a two-on-one. In on the attack. Shot. This has been for hockey on the ice, and the drama continues with the shootout next. Welcome back, everyone. Well, it's time to put up or shut up for both the goaltenders and the players. It's time for the shootout. And he stops that attempt. I think he just does a great job of making himself as big as possible and took away all the shooting angles. Matthews has a chance now to counterpunch in this shootout. Stops 
Alexa, this might be turning into a save-out instead of a shootout. Yeah, I mean, this is 1v1 against the goaltender, and uh, he's challenging at the top of his crease, but most importantly, he's... Reads it perfectly and makes the save. Love that he doesn't sit back in his crease, but he gets out and challenges and takes away as much of the net as possible. And he says, uh-uh oh, oh, on that play. Yeah, on the shootout, he's confident and composed. You don't see him moving around in his crease. Just makes himself as big as possible. Looks really efficient. And he comes up clutch here in the shootout. Well, and this is why they practice it a lot of the time post-practice. James, goaltenders want to work on this. So do shooters. He does a great job of anticipating to make that save. Makes a save and look good doing that one. Yeah, the body language, everything about him is telling you that he's confident and composed right now. Well, he can really break it open here if he can deliver a snipe at this point in time. Scores! What a shot! Well, that's what we call a snipe, James. I mean, he just recognizes that the goaltender's deep in the crease and puts it away. Tavares is making his way to center ice. He needs a goal. He makes the save, and that's what they needed to get the win. What a finish to this one tonight. Well, that brings a fun night of hockey to the end for all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. She's Cheryl Pounder. We will see you next time at the rink.